Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill here with At Home with Jill. And today's video is gonna be some more decluttering um, my junk drawer areas. Um, but first, I just wanted to get some stuff cleaned up. Like I said in the last one, I don't wanna get behind on my regular things while I'm decluttering and looking for that paper. Um, okay, so all those all those clothes on the floor right there are actually clean laundry. They were folded up nice on the bed last night. I forgot about them, went to go to bed last night, and uh, I just threw them on the floor. But, yeah. So, anyway, I am just putting those in the bedrooms that they belong in, and then my kids put them away. Um, and then I'm just picking up the towels here. Picking up my dirty laundry. That is that basket is still the bin of stuff that has a place that needs to get put in its place. And then that trash bag is um, from when I decluttered my nightstand and stuff. And then I am just now getting my um, bed sheets and everything and gonna throw those in the washing machine and get those all washed up so I like to obviously get this done in the beginning of the day because I hate more than anything when I go to go to bed at night and the sheets are not on so I wanted to do this first thing and get it over with I also had more laundry to do other than just this today so it was nice to have this done and out of the way alrighty and now I am just folding this load of laundry this was already in the dryer waiting for me so yeah there's usually always a load of laundry in the dryer waiting for me to fold just to be honest and um, <laughs> it's funny to see my cat run and her tail to wag in fast motion. So I've just been putting um, laundry in piles of bedroom. So all the girls are in one pile and then they go in their room and they sort it out and put it away. Cade has his own pile and then I have my own pile so yeah here they are just getting their clothes to put away can't get behind on dishes so in the past, when I was on major decluttering kicks, I always would ignore everything else and just declutter my life away and let all the chores pile up. Dishes pile up, laundry pile up, and everything like that. So it's really important to me now to just stay on top of everything and then get to the decluttering part once all of my regular chores are taken care of, which actually makes my life a lot easier. Probably makes my husband happier too. Yes. <laughs>
So I have to go to Walmart in the post office and so I'm gonna be running errands. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna clean the bathrooms first and then I'm gonna start on decluttering. I have been neglecting the bathrooms, so I'm gonna clean the bathrooms and then start decluttering. Are you working? My citronella blooming. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the park. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them The goats are visiting you at work, babe. <laughs> Cookie just jumped off. No, you do not. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end. Girl, you take care now. Broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? <laughs> All right, guys, so while I was decluttering this dresser, I, in my mind, was like, okay, have we used this recently? You know, have we used this in the past year? Are we going to use this? Can I see us using this? Um, does anyone play this game? Does anyone use this game the way it's intended? And all of these questions, okay? And I was just literally getting rid of everything that we don't use, we're not gonna use, and that doesn't get used the way it should, and that gets disrespected or not put away right and all of that. So that is what I'm doing in this dresser. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that Forever 
Alright guys, so my battery died and I don't know when it shut off, but this is my bin of stuff that has a place that needs to get put in its place. This is my trash. It's a lot in there. This is a game I'm gonna donate. This drawer, ooh, this drawer is empty right now. So, these here are, I, we never finished putting them on after I did the shiplap, so that goes there and that one goes over here. So I'm gonna leave those there so we remember. They've been hidden in a drawer, just forgotten about. Um, this drawer is my stuff. So I have my new um, Wi-Fi thing here, my headphones for when I edit, baby monitor. Um, oh, I can get rid of this thermometer, it doesn't work. And we bought a new one. Um, so yeah, these are like my computer cords and stuff like that and then some pens. And this is all Switch stuff, so our games and controllers. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this drawer. <laughs> I totally forgot to do this drawer. So I'm gonna do that drawer, but for now, I did all the games. So this, I'm gonna get a bag for this game. The box was all ripped. Um, so I have those games all nice and neat. I these games, two games in here. These games in here, and these games in here. And then this drawer is um, sewing patterns and fabric. So this drawer, it I know it looks cluttered, but it's really not. Um, all right, so this is the last drawer I need to do. I knew I was forgetting something. Wow, that's a huge difference for this drawer. So this is all of our DVDs, TV and DVD remote, and then this is our um, history, history curriculum that we play in the DVD player. So that's what that is. And then this was in the drawer, which is a CD that we play in the car. So yeah. I am thinking about putting school stuff in these drawers and then putting the games in these cubbies. I think that it would be cool if, cause these bins honestly, like when it's time to do school and everyone brings their bins in here to do school, then we have bins everywhere. It's honestly really kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and then if I just want them to grab one book, they have to open their bin and dig through to find it. I think it would be cool if everyone had their own drawer over here. So like Cade, Briella, or Cade, Briella, Stella, and Aubrey. So those two and those two drawers would be for their school books. So yeah, I kinda wanna do that with the school stuff. And it's already 4.30, so we need to start making dinner. Alrighty, we're gonna make dinner and then we're going to Home Depot as a family. Okay, I'll get you a snack. Guess what we're doing though, you guys? Okay, hold on, I have no idea what it looks like in here. Okay, it's messy, but it is what it is, okay. So we are gonna go to Home Depot. We're gonna price out a new vanity, 
and a new toilet and I think a tub and shower or something. I don't know. Tile, maybe. We might just retile this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get rid of the bathtub completely and just get one of those shower floors and then get the sliding glass um, doors. Now that we have a water softener, glass doors wouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, like this is just, it's bad, you guys. Like, look at that broken moldy tile and um, this, these are not, yeah, these are just stickers on the tile. <laughs> these are all stickers. And we didn't even know that um, until I think we noticed this one and I was like, oh my gosh, these are stickers. So yeah, so we're gonna go price out things in, in a light, a new light fixture. Okay, so this toilet, it's elongated, so it's like the extra long kind. This door can't even open. What I would love to do in here is get a small vanity, either, I, I would probably put the vanity over there, like a small vanity right there with the toilet by the shower or the vanity here in the toilet there. I don't know, either way. Um, but I want everything on one side and then it would just be open right here. Aubrey say hi friends. Aubrey say hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay guys, so I was just out cleaning out my litter box and realized I have never shown you guys how we keep our litter box and how. All right, so this is in our office area, okay? Here, these are where our file drawers are. But in this cupboard, there's a kitty door right there. Okay, so the kitty goes in through there and then there's a kitty door that goes outside, okay? So let me go outside and show you where that door leads. So out here, so that's in our office. This is where the kitty door leads to. So we prop it open with this stick when we're cleaning the litter box, but this is where her litter box is. So that's where the kitty door comes, she comes through there. And there are ventilation holes and windows that like rats can't get in. We put um, we put this like wire stuff there. So anyway, it's pretty cool. It's our little litter box house.